Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and this is Saga Frontier Remastered. I hope that you're ready, because tonight is going to be the conclusion of Amelia's story. Our femme fatale here has had a hard row to hoe, but I think that she's done a pretty good job of it. And y'all decided that our final party for this evening and for this storyline would be Annie, Liza, Rufus, and Faeon. So here they are. As you can see, I've done a little bit of level grinding. Everybody except Rufus has broken 800 hit points, which is great because around 700 hit points or so is kind of where I want everyone to be for the final boss. Uh, you will see why when we get there. We also have been building up Amelia and Rufus as spellcasters. I have been focusing uh, more on them with magic uh, in this last little while than with weaponry because Annie, Liza, and Fayon have got the damage down, I think. Now, uh, Rufus has become kind of almost exclusively a mage. Amelia, of course, still absolutely has some combat capability. And I've only got magic on her right now, but she's not necessarily going to take all of these into the final battle with her. Uh, we may change things around a little bit before we go in. Uh, but we've got some new techniques to show off. And you get to see that right now, because what I would like to do is uh, the final battle is going to be a long one. It's going to drag on a little bit. Uh, but it also is the last battle, and that final mission is going to be fairly short. So I'm going to start tonight, uh, not by rushing straight into it, but uh, I'm going back to the Bio Research Lab here in Shrike, which is a great leveling spot, and that's where I have done most of our leveling, uh, in order to grind a little bit more with y'all here live on stream, because of course we glimmered some new techniques and things, um, like uh, off stream. Oh, I forgot that I had the speed turned up. <laughs> Lol, there we go. I don't know if I've done that yet, actually, if I've spun the camera, but there you go. You can do that as well, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Let me show off a few of these new attacks. Uh, Annie picked up no rhythm. She got no rhythm. And this is one of my favorite attacks. Liza picked up Sky Twister. And Faeon learned Raksha, which is great, and also learned Triple Dragon, which is a really powerful attack. Unfortunately, and this is also one of the reasons why I wanted to start by uh, fighting here in the Bio Research Lab, I have been trying to get him to learn Collapse, which is a fairly low level martial arts technique. Uh, and he just will not learn it. He won't. I'm hoping, because y'all are my good luck charms, that maybe while you are watching, I'll get lucky and uh, <laughs> he will pick up Collapse. Love it. Check this out. Good shit. There's so many cool looking abilities in this game, honestly. It's just fun to look at. It's, uh, it's great because the glimmer system, I think, and yeah, exactly, these over the top attack animations, uh, it makes it fun to do these random battles. And so that means that it, it's less burdensome to, uh, to level grind. There's no rhythm. I love it. It's the anime, like, whoosh, and then they, like, the cut happens and the blood splashes everywhere a second later with a delay. Oh, man, that combo. That's going to be a lot of damage. 
Which is good because Dullahan's are like not a fun fight. Please drop a shield. No. Oh, okay. I was hoping that they would drop either armor or a shield. Because they can drop Pluto armor, which is uh, pretty good breastplate. Or they can drop an Excel shield, which is just about the best shield in the game, I think. Almost. Uh, oh, and here we go. Now, this used to be called, in the original Saga Frontier on PS1, I think this spell was called Mega Wind Blast. And they have changed the name to Gale Blast. So, if you see this, and uh, you recognize the animation because you have played the game, then you will, uh, and it, like, you might be confused by the name, but let's see. Uh, I'll keep using this. We'll have Rufus do that as well. And I'm going to switch to him doing suplex because I'm hoping that that way he'll learn collapse. There we go. I don't know if this counts as flashing lights. Tell me what you think. We get to see it again. We're just gonna conjure a hole to the sun and blast our enemies with radiation. That is the ultimate light spell. So you can see that uh, by farming magic, our casters have really grown a lot too, along with our warriors. Okay, still no collapse. Unfortunate. It was so funny, I was just spamming, like, Locomotion G, and um, he finally learned Triple Dragon. And I got so excited because I was like, oh boy, here it comes. And no, uh, here it did not come, actually. So I'm really hoping, because we've gotten good luck on multiple streams where I'm, I haven't been very far in and someone would learn a great technique that I was hoping they would learn. Like that happened with Raksha uh, when Liza finally got that. That happened with um, Annie getting Rosario Impale. But you can see we're not getting huge stat boosts either, and that tells me that we're sort of capping out because these are high tier enemies that we're fighting here, like this uh, Xiphon right here is kind of an S rank enemy. Oh, oh, yes! Yes! See, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, y'all are my good luck charm. There we go. Fucking A! See? And I was just, I was grinding and grinding and grinding, and he would not learn it. A! And there, Rufus is even getting HP, which is, that's what I was about to complain about, is I really wanted Rufus to break uh, 800 hit points, ideally, before we go and fight the boss. But, uh, he just, his stats were slowing down, their, their growth was slowing, and he was not picking up a lot of hit points. Oh, let me save it before I do anything else. Here we go. And of course, y'all know, like, why did I want him to learn Collapse? Because... If you have Slide, Suplex, Collapse, and Giant Swing equipped, it unlocks DSC. So that means that now, not only does Liza have DSC, so does Feyon. And since that is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, attacks in the game, um, having that on multiple characters is going to make the final boss battle enormously easier. Now, uh... I guess, as much as I hate to unequip it because it's very funny, he does not really need Locomotion G, I guess. Well, no, actually, you know, um, he doesn't really need to learn anything else. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I guess it really doesn't matter. He doesn't need a free slot now that he's learned Collapse, because that'll give him DSC, and that's all that I cared about. So, similarly, uh, like, I could take Starlight Heal off, but she's got Sky Twister, uh, which is the strongest single-target martial arts attack, broadly speaking. Like, see, Raksha inflicts slightly less damage, but it also instantly kills. 
Um, but Sky Twister deals multiple damage types and deals more base damage without inflating a status effect. So, you know, context matters. Um, Annie's the only one I was uh, hoping maybe to get a couple more sword techniques by spamming Headwind Rush. Uh, and she has not gotten those, so we may... Uh, but Rufus's stat growth, as I said, has slowed down. I don't know if he's going to break 800 hit points. So having Collapse on Feyon is... Uh, that's really what I wanted. That is what I wanted. So y'all got me that. And that means that we can fight the final boss with confidence. There we go, see... DSC and DSC Boom Just deals so much damage He kinda does actually um the Xiphon sort of puts me in mind of um, Kulex from Mario RPG. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so the main thing we've got to check for, he's got Mastery on, so everything is cheaper. Uh, she does not, actually, by equipping Starlight Heal, that's going to cost her Mastery. So I may want to switch that out. She's got Triple Dragon as well, but... I might put Triangle Kick back on because I took it off of him. And... See, it does Piercing Blunt and Spirit. And Pressure Point does the same, except that Triangle Kick is stronger, of course. Uh, so it's multiple damage types is the reason that it's good. Oh, and she learned Sway Back as well, which is great. Maybe Psycho Armor for him? Implosion can be a one-hit kill, actually. It's a, a fire spell, but... Vitality and Psychic. Yeah, let's take that. And I think that that's everybody. Okay. Um, I really would like to try and level Rufus up to 800 hit points. So... Actually, with Amelia, though, we can change some of her stuff around because uh, she is not going to learn any more spells. She's learned all of the rune spells and all of the light spells, so... Does she have any other dodge? No, that's the only one. Hmm. I wonder if I could get sway back on her by, like, punching and using martial arts. She's got most of the gun attacks as well. Uh, she doesn't have the double gun attacks, though. Maybe we should do that. Let's try that, because she can learn new gun techniques even if she's full up. And since she has broken 100 JP, I feel pretty good about where she's at. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use Locomotion G because it's very funny. may not get to see it, though. I mean, you've seen it before, I think. I'm 
more mobility. That's always good. See, he's getting JP, but he's just, he's not getting a lot of hit points. Ironically, uh, perhaps just because I think we had Amelia in the party for so much longer and she was using guns and stuff, uh, her JP has really run out in front of Rufus's. Okay. Doesn't really matter where we spread these out. These enemies are quite strong. We're just stronger. Do, 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 do. I've been working on the railroad. Love it. Good. Intelligence. So her magic gets more powerful even when she uses guns. Just her JP is going to stop going up if she's not casting spells. But she still ironically becomes a better mage. And I love that. These crystal trees, they have got to go down first because they have a very nasty attack. Oh no. Oh <laughs> all day. Nice. Alright, vitality. Concentration is good. Oh, there's an HP increase. Let's see how much he got. 782. Okay, that's only for like five points. See, he just doesn't need much. I hate to leave him, like, right on the edge. We'll do a couple more run-throughs here. Because there's just honestly no better place in the game to, to level up than this. Deflected at the last instant. Love that. Oh no, Rufus. Oh! We got a badass over here. He averages about eight slams when he does Locomotion G. Uh, and I don't know if it's just sheer power or attack score or what it is in the background, what stat determines how many times uh, you thrash somebody when you use Locomotion G on them. But, um, here, actually, for now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna switch her back to all guns. Uh, but, like, he's to the point where he is, um, he is usually doing it about eight times, and sometimes I've seen him go up to twelve. Let's see. Uh, let's do focus shot. For all that it matters. gonna do a little bit of grinding anyway, then that way we can grind guns so that her other stats will raise. Because what I'm really hoping is that she'll learn the double version. Okay. 
because it deals so much more damage. It's like dual wielding swords if you have two guns on. You can make twice as many shots. Still want to focus on the Xiphon. I'm going to take him seriously. She keeps comboing. <laughs> I don't think you can glimmer when you combo. Nice. The Dark Fairy also has some good drops, but they're rare, so we'll see what happens. These little monsters right here, they look like cotton, but like the evil version? I guess with gun attacks, it technically doesn't matter that you can't glimmer when you combo because you learn new gun attacks at the end of the fight anyway, so. <laughs> uh, or maybe, I don't know, burlap? What's the least comfortable fabric? Yeah, burlap is one of those things that it, it has its place, but you don't wear it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten that time. <laughs> Polyester is evil cotton. I'll accept that. I'll allow it. Dragon this time. Okay. That's actually great. Stronger enemies uh, means. Oh, whoops. <laughs> she ran out of. She ran out of stuff. Uh, stronger enemies means more stat increases and better drops, potentially. How this goes. This should take care of the chaff. Yeah, they got more stuff. This ought to finish off the dragon, I think. Yep, there we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's alright. Ten's a good number. It's a very good number. Picked up a protector. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's fine. Oh, a Thun Dragon. That's also a rare spawn. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of this thing first, for sure. Um, maybe we can paralyze the Thun Dragon. And... Crystal Trees don't have a whole lot of health, but they have this nasty attack called Oscillation that deals like six to 700 damage to everybody, depending on your defense. And 
No mercy. Ha 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 Ah, this final boss doesn't have a chance. Aww. The Thun Dragon has a rare drop uh, that I really want. And I've only seen, like, that might be the third one that I've seen the entire time I was level grinding. Unfortunately. They drop a Dragon Sword, I think it's called. Unless they've changed the name in uh, the Remastered Edition. Which is one of the strongest uh, weapons in the game. And I think it might be the strongest one that drops off of a... Like, just a common monster. Or I should say a non-boss monster, because obviously if I've only seen three Thunder Dragons this whole time, they're not common, but you get what I mean. Keep using Sky Twister, and I'll use that as my meter for uh, when we are done. This Triple Dragon. I want to see more of it, because it's very cool. Love an HP increase. Unfortunately, Rufus is not getting them. So I'm thinking that probably we're going to have to make the decision to go on and uh, he's just not going to break um, 800. And that's okay. Cockatrices obviously can inflict petrification, and that can be a bad thing. <laughs> Love that attack. Just new thud. This. Such a good attack. It's so anime. So over the top. Hey, there we go. Now, now we got something. Okay. Let's see. Guns Akimbo. Yes. That can replace... Uh, we're probably not going to use Focus Shot if we've got Bounding Shot on. So... There we go. That's your basic dual-wielding attack. So now... Does it replace your base attack? Because if so, then it won't stack with quick shot, I don't think. That's probably fine. Oh no. Yep, he's gone. Well, you can already equip two guns at once, so actually you can only uh, learn Guns Akimbo by having multiple guns equipped. So what it does is um, it allows you, when you attack, to shoot with both guns at the same time so that your base attack becomes more powerful. So like I said, I think what it does is, I, I, if I remember correctly, I think Guns Akimbo replaces your base attack. That's why it doesn't cost anything. And so I don't know if it stacks with Quick Shot, because Quick Shot also replaces your base attack. And what it does is, um, 
uh, quick shot causes you to always go first. So I don't know if they stack. Like, if you have both of them equipped, do you shoot with both guns and go first? Let's find out, actually. Let's let's do that. Let's uh, let's have a learning experience here. Get those other two out of the way. Yep, I think they stack. Which is great because now her base attack deals 1,100 damage. That's actually more than Annie or Liza's base attack. That's not more than like any of their other techniques, but that is more than their base attack. So, like, if you saw when Liza just punched somebody, she dealt a little bit less than 500 damage. So now Amelia, when she attacks somebody, deals 1,100 damage. And we got an HP increase on Rufus. All right, where's he at? 805, there we go. That was the magic number I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Okay, well then. Uh, I guess that means that it's time. I don't see any real reason to wait any further, um, especially because the last fight's going to be hard, so if it doesn't go well, I may have to do it more than one time. And I guess she's probably not going to get that last attack. I don't know if I... I may just leave that open in case she glimmers it in the final battle, because I don't really see the benefit to putting anything else in that slot. The only thing I can think is that, you know, if I put double vertical on there, that's going to be better than her regular attack, and it would be free. So if she completely runs out of weapon points in the final battle, she will still have something better than her basic attack uh, that she can use that won't cost anything. That's probably the wisest thing to do, uh, but I will wait until the final battle because we do have a little ways to go. All right, so for Amelia here. Um, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to wait till we get to the actual final battle, and that way she can continue boosting these stats and maybe learn one or two more, like, double gun techniques. On the way, so to speak. We're going to rest, and then that means it's time to go back to Kurong. Home again, home again. First things first, now that we are here at home, I want to save it because I want to make sure that we have a safety file here. And there's a couple reasons why, which I will explain as we go forward. Okay. Before we set out, I think it's time. There we go. That is the cannon outfit. The commando outfit that she is wearing in the final art. Or in the, uh, you know, like the, the logo art, whatever you want to call it. And I think, yeah, this makes her ready for battle. It's time. Our girl is going in. Okay, there's the campaign fund. So we have a little money in our pocket. Are you ready? Okay, so this is the reason, like I said, that I wanted to have multiple saves. Um, back on the PS1, when your save files actually took up blocks on a memory card, this was very important because once you go on the final mission, you cannot come back. And that can be really rough, because Amelia has one of the hardest final bosses out of all the storylines. And if you get to that final boss, and you are not strong enough to defeat it, 
there's no good place to like level up and heal and and stuff and like grind to change that so if you've saved over your file you only had one save you couldn't leave and come back to grind and change the situation you were just stuck there which means that your entire playthrough up to that point could potentially be wasted which is a real shame so here we go we've got multiple save files we're fine this time we're going in full force here we are. It's time. Now I'm gonna try and avoid like the trash battles because we don't really need to fight the just the regular mobs, I don't think. And we'll use our quick save here. Whoop. There is gonna be there's a mini boss partway through. Yep, right here. So this is kind of our um our litmus test. If we have trouble with this mini-boss, we are not going to be able to beat the final boss. If this mini-boss is a piece of cake... So we'll see. Uh, we also have... Where are they? Let me make sure we have several, because I think we have more than one. Yes, we have three Sanctuary Stones. So that means that we can go ham on this guy. So we can see how much trouble are we actually going to have. We can use everything that we've got. Got a grappler, a shaman, a thun dragon, an unknown, and a warrior. What's well, the thun dragon that we want to take out? Uh, let's do a twin gales and hit everybody, just in case. DSC, a gale blast, and a DSC. If this fight is easy peasy, then I think that we're ready to face Joker. Oh, here goes the shaman. Oh no. This poor guy. Farewell. This dude's gonna catch all of this. Okay. Well, that was nothing. Oh, we get a bolt crystal. Yay. Okay. Yeah, there was no dodging that. I think so. I think probably we're going to be fine. And Amelia going first like that also helps to make sure that uh, she's getting points toward glimmering additional attacks. Like, if she's going to learn anything, that will help. Oh. Oh, he was quick. Oh, he was quick. I haven't used that enough since I got it. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Ooh, paralyzing needle, yay. We really needed that. Okay, I've gotta be careful here. Okay. We are almost there, so... Forsaken Chapel. Yep. Now is the time. Let's use a Sanctuary Stone, one of our precious, precious Sanctuary Stones. There we go. Look at this view. What a nice view. 
clear sky. So peaceful. It almost makes me forget about Joker. Here we go. This is it, folks. Are you ready? Ren, we were planning on having our wedding in a small chapel. Amelia, you're thinking of Ren, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> Still carrying your wedding dress with you? Yes. Well, put it on. We'll pretend as though we had your wedding here. Then you can forget it all and go on with your life. Maybe. What are you babbling about? Get ready for Joker. Babbling? This is important, though you'd never understand it. Let's do it, Amelia. You can change back there. Uh, we're completely off guard. This is a mistake. No, it's fine. And here we go. We get to see Amelia's final outfit. Look at that. Ta-da! You look so beautiful. Dots. Watch out! Something's coming down from above! Oh. And we have this soft music to play by. There we go, we're gonna fight the final boss in our wedding dress. Here it is! Right. Hello, indeed. Also, I I hope we do well because I just realized I did not put any of Amelia's spells back on, so all she has is her gun attacks. So let's go, gamers. <laughs> okay. Gonna hit it as hard as we can. So, uh, this boss. This boss has, um, a lot of HP. Uh, so it hits very hard, but its real problem is its staying power. Because, uh, this boss is called D.Va. And it has about a hundred thousand hit points. So you can see even with DSC, which is dealing over ten thousand, so it's gonna we're gonna have to survive several rounds uh, because if Feyon and Liza are dealing twenty thousand or so between them, um, oh good, thank goodness that missed. See, it gets multiple attacks each turn. Uh, and see now, she's paralyzed. So even with 20,000 HP per turn, you have to stay in this for five rounds, so you've got to press the advantage, and you have to keep it. You cannot let up. Okay, um, nobody actually took any damage. So... have to heal. We will focus on buffs. Amelia's still dishing out good damage. It's just a shame because I was gonna... That way we'd have, like, multiple heals. Oh, he only dealt 5,900 that time. Oof. Cone attack. This is where the vitality rune comes in really handy. So this is, I've made this a lot harder on us by screwing up her loadout, which means it's possible uh, we, we may die and I may have to do it over. We'll see what happens. Okay. This is not as bad as I was worried. 400 health, okay. So let's do, so let's continue to press and let's do a starlight heal. Our new equipment also really helps. 
Because I made sure that everybody's got like 60 plus defense. Now, D.Va, of course, like any good final boss, uh, deals multiple damage types. So you might have seen all of those lightning attacks just now and thought, oh, wow, if we spec against shot damage. But no. D.Va can deal multiple types of damage. So if you focus too much on defending against one, it actually can screw you. Oof. He's only just now going. Oh no. That's another thing, is Rufus is kind of slow, and I was hoping that he would get faster towards the end of the game, but. Okay, we're holding in. Form change. Now, this is the other thing about this boss. Oh. Hey, Trance, yep, you made it. We are fighting the final boss. We'll see how it goes. Oof. Okay. Okay, he's gonna have to heal himself. Come on. Liza is our best weapon in this fight. Is that it? Surely not. Oh, I think that might have been it! Yep. That's it. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I thought that fight was going to be so much harder than that. Oh, my goodness. So I guess all the level grinding paid off. Okay, and that, that was even with me fucking up Amelia's arts loadout and rushing in without taking all of her gun attacks off and putting her spells back on. So that, okay. That, that went well. Are you all okay? And there she is with her gun out in her wedding dress. Look at this. Joker. I knew you'd never shoot me. Stay right where you are. Your friends have all gone on to the next world. We can rule this world together. But the power of Cube. You maniac. You know who I am. No. Come with me. I hate you. And there goes the shot. Amelia's revenge is complete. Annie. Liza. Rufus. Thank goodness you're all safe. Of course. Amelia, you're... What was I fighting for? I could have stayed just another unhappy, ignorant woman. No one knows what will happen in the future. No matter what you decide to do, you're bound to have regrets. Cheery thought. Sorry. Are you apologizing? Do I look that depressed? Annie, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, they rush up to hug her because she's standing a little too close to the edge of the cliff when she says that. So it makes you think like, oh god, is she gonna like, is she gonna jump? But no. I'm okay. I always feel better after a good cry. Rufus... What's our next mission? No more for you. I can see it in your eyes. You can't fight anymore. Rufus. You've suffered enough. Liza. It might sound a little weird, but it was fun, Amelia. Annie. Thanks, everyone. I won't forget you guys. No. You must forget us. You never worked for Gradius. You don't even know about such an organization. That's an order. My last order. Yes, sir. Jeez. 
she didn't even look back. She's become strong. This is the way it had to be. Come on, let's go. Little wedding photo there. Get to see Annie and Liza as well. And there's Rufus. It's like they all took a picture with her in the wedding dress. Before the final boss fight. And there we go. That is the end of Amelia's story. Drink it in. It was a big adventure to get there. Let's update that system data. Ta-da! Oh, there we go! Okay! So that's how you unlock Fuse. So you can do a New Game Plus uh, once you have beaten anybody's storyline, right? So you see the star next to Amelia. And apparently, by completing any of the stories, I'm going to guess that it does not need to specifically be Amelia's. That is how you unlock Fuse. So, and yes, Trance, there is a second ending for Amelia. That was technically the bad ending, although I actually like it better. Uh, and the reason why... Now, this is the remastered edition. So I am not 100% certain what they have changed. But in the original version, I actually like the quote-unquote bad ending better, um, because in the good ending, things go very differently after that final boss fight. Uh, and yet, somehow, to me it feels less fulfilling, and it actually leaves me more confused, like I wind up with more questions. Because at least in this one, you put an end to Joker, and... And that's it. So, like, you can kind of go on from here and uh, and you can feel satisfied. And hopefully y'all do. Now, when we have had multiple endings in a game before, I have done my best, generally speaking, to show all of them uh, where possible. So, if y'all want to see Emilia's other ending, I think that that's fair. But what that means we're going to have to do is we would have to start a new game plus with Amelia. And then we could rush through and we could see that other ending. So let's see. Yes. So a new game, when you have previously existing save data, starts and carries over some of your items, techniques, attributes, and more. Here we go. Select entries to carry over. Enemy rank. I love how that's not checked by default. Hit points, jutsu points. Now this may not be carried over for all characters. Weapon points, attributes, credits, items, skills, and spells, mystic abilities, monster abilities, monster types, and programs for met characters. So in the interest of time, uh, we will not do enemy rank. We'll go ahead and we'll use this data. Okay. Let's see how quickly we can do this with the time that we have left. I'm, I'm interested to see actually how fast it goes. Especially because um, if if Liza and Annie have their stuff, like all of their arts and things, then, I mean, this is not going to take very long at all. Because, damn. And if we start with our equipment too, ooh. If we start with our guns and swords and stuff like that, oh man, if Annie starts with the Phantasm, ooh, 
Just ooh. There we go. Our flashback to Ren being dead. Joker jumping out the window. A cab, of course. Let's speed through here and see how quickly this comes together. I think most of the time might actually be mashing through the dialogue. Because this is about as fast as I can get through it, so... Let's see what happens. It's time. Here they are. I love how they're just like, there's a hole under the bed. How did you know? And of course, it's partially because. Oh, they've got their stats. Oh boy. Oh goodness gracious. Oh my. Folks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's fucking go. Okay, we need Rosario. We need Twin Gales. We need No Rhythm. We need Headwind Rush. We need Dead End. We need Deflect. We need probably Lightning Thrust. And since we're just speed running this, let's do... Yeah, let's take double vertical so she's got something that's free. Okay. Lightning Thrust. Deflect at the bottom. There we go. And Liza. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be very bad for our enemies. Slide. Suplex. Collapse. Giant swing. Sky Twister, Raksha, of course, and probably Triple Dragon. Could go with Triangle Kick. Even Ogre Rush, because that's an that's an area attack. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Screw it. Oh, let's see. Swayback's gonna be down here. There we go. Now, Amelia. Uh, let's check their equipment. Ooh. Oh my. Oh goodness gracious. Is all of our st Oh shit. Oh shit, kids. Oh boy. Oh my goodness gracious. Where's my shield? There we go. And for all that it matters, where's the backpack? There we go. Okay. Let's put our armor back on. This is going to go very quickly once we actually get kitted out. Where in the world? There we go. And the angel brooch and the purple eye. Okay, likewise. 
got another power suit. We've got some reinforced clothes. I, if I remember correctly, and I may be wrong about this, uh, but in the original, I think that um, reinforced clothes was actually called hyperwear. And I think it's a real shame that they changed that. <laughs> Where is our phantasm? There it is. Oh, baby. We've got the Null Blade, which I think used to be called a Zero Sword, actually. Okay, we need... Genbu Shield. And... We'll do a Shell Shield. Liza. She needs the other XL shield because uh, that's just about the best shield in the game. And we want her to have that because since she has DSC, that means that she's like our damage output. So we want her to be safe. We're going to pile a bunch of other extra shields on her. And then we will give her a max cure. she can keep that. There we go. Ah! Ah! I can filter. Why wasn't I doing that? Why was I not doing that? Who knows? Your fang amulet? No, we'll do it, Chris. Okay! I think that's pretty good. Let's get to it. Oh, wrong way. Or is it? Actually, yes, I think so. Okay. Oh, lol. Fucking lol. I did not actually do her arts. That's okay. This is going to go very quickly. <laughs> Mwahaha. We're still getting stat boosts as well. Hilarious. Okay, let me go in here and fix up Amelia's arts, though. Okay, we're gonna do... Quick Shot. We're gonna do Guns Akimbo because they stack. We're gonna do Total Shot. We're gonna do Bounding Shot. And then we're gonna do... Maybe... Nah, actually... I need to get Sway back on her. Okay, let's do... Starlight Heal. Oops. Let's do Gale Blast. Vitality Rune, because I wanted that last time. And... We'll do the Soul Rune. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can remember my way through here. So like this. Oh! This way, I think. Yes. And up here. We don't need to go down there this time. We can't just go through the pipe. It will be so very funny if she learns uh, new gun techniques while we're doing this. No stat increases from that one. Fair enough. Is that the way? I mean, presumably. Yeah, because this comes down from there, so... This is going to take more time than anything else. Okay. Actu wow, I did have it correct the first time, I think. Or did I? This comes out here. Uh... Hmm. Let 
try that one more time. Okay, that comes out there. That's a drop down. So that means that this way is useless because it just goes down there. So actually, oh, okay, I think we do have to go back maybe. down I was thinking we didn't need to go down here because we didn't need the secret weapon that was hidden down there but actually I think we have to go out through this door when he leaves yep okay now Now we're on the right track. Oh man, that's so satisfying. Let's go. I'm just gonna do this. Why would I not? to get on the conveyor belt. Maybe. Yes, I think actually we do. It's been a while since I've been here. Hey, another shell shield. This goes back here. Ah. Aha, I remembered this time. So, yes, this is correct. This feels right. This feels right. Oh, whoops. Memory cursor. <laughs> Gotta switch that back. That was a waste of uh, several weapon points. Try this way first. Shame we don't have our little blob friend with us. They could say hi. I wasn't expecting to do this. So my brain is not, like, set for the, the prison of despair. Well, I mean, it is, but, like, not in-game. Okay, this is right, I think. This, this feels correct. I need to trust my gut more. Because I have, like, these buried core memories where when I see where I'm going, I know that it's the right way, and then I convince myself, like, no... I second guess myself and then believe the second guess when the first guess was correct. Here we go. See, see, I'm going the I'm going the right way. Did just come around in a circle though. Um. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm triple guessing myself. Or third guessing myself. See, this felt right when I did it before, but then... 
this comes out here. Isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. We gotta go through this room. Here we go. Now we've done it. Here comes our first boss. This nasty thing. All of House Little Legs are just like tippity tappity tap as it runs up on you. And it's so big, and then you get into a fight, and it's just this because this thing 100% becomes a, um, like a regular monster later. Oh, a triple combo. Oh no. It is so dead. Oh, it didn't die in one hit. Well done. Well done, that monster. Or... Oh no, it did. We got it. Okay. It just had like a death throes attack. And here we go. Freedom rune. The slow clap of victory. There we go, part one. That went pretty quick. I think we can do this. And actually, this works great because uh, I sort of accidentally screwed up some of the sequence of events in the original, like, the first playthrough. Oh no, he's here. And there's Rufus. There we go. Time to meet the gang again. Go. Time to become part of Gradius. Yes, please fill us in. I love how Atlantis and Canberra are both ancient civilizations. I don't know if this is supposed to be an AU Earth, like a post-apocalyptic future. I don't think so. But it's funny to think of Canberra as an ancient vanished civilization, you know. Alright. There's Liza. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh. We're gonna go talk to Rufus is what we're gonna do. There we go. Some basic training. We think we can handle it. I don't know. My favorite part of the training dummies here is that you absolutely can learn gun techniques. Like you can you can glimmer gun arts from doing this. That is so funny to me. Just because of the like the context, it's very silly. Alright, here we go. Now we just have to get back to the surface? Well, we know how to do that, don't we? And since this is a new game plus, that won't take very long at all. Yeah, I think this will work out just fine.
Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well done. Okay, we're free to the next mission. Part one is complete. And Annie has like commas as weapons in this artwork, even though she's a sword wielder. Fascinating. Talk to Liza and then go talk to Rufus. There we go. Go outside and get Annie as well. I love how her, her invite thing is like, would you like to hang out till the next mission? Just hang out. Okay. There we go. Now, can we go ahead and force it forward? There's the campaign fund. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to have to go do something. So, let's go to Devon and come back. Ooh, I just thought, hmm, we might need to do Tanzer to get Feyon back. Ooh, actually... And we will need him because he's got our other... He's our DSC guy. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Fire the gift. Right. Let's do it. Let's go get Faye on. May take us a couple of tries. Just have to wander around until Tanzer eats us. Oh, here we go. This is the one. I should have recognized that airship because you only see that specific airship right before Tanzer eats you. Go and <laughs> this is gonna be a massacre. Oh man. Oh, now we're just randomly attacking the rune. My bad, rune. Sorry. I couldn't actually use the touch command on it until it was revealed, so, you know. That's fine. Actually, where's, where is the touch command? There we go. Touchy touchy. Okay, she's the one who won't be able to get through. That's fine. Go, whichever one goes first. Liza, last time I think it was Fayon that got it. We did it. We done did it, folks. Oh, and there comes Slime back. Here we go. 
Whee! Ah, <laughs> uh, love it. And it looks like our slime friend uh, retained their stats as well, actually. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. With that little adventure over and Fayon back in our party, I think we should be good to go. Sir. Sir, please. I am begging you. Let's recover what few weapon points we spent. Oops. No, no, no. To, eh, eh, eh. Oh, okay. I do have to talk to them. I was thinking I did. <laughs> I was thinking it was the map. No, I'm just a fool. All right, here we go. Masked event at Shingro. She thinks that it's a masked ball, a masquerade. No. No, we kind of skimmed past this one in the last playthrough. It doesn't feel like a dance. Here, put this on. No thanks, I brought my own dress. No, no, just put this on. Is this a costume party? It's good enough for a martial arts tournament. A martial arts tournament? Here we go. Didn't you know Shingro Palace sponsors a mass martial arts tournament every year? You guys tricked me again. You're the one who volunteered. Now hurry up. All right. The pink tiger enters the fray. It's so funny that you actually have to stand in line. Your ring name. Uh, pink tiger? Please proceed to the next room. Here we go. Now, last time this didn't go very well. <laughs> Let's see how it goes differently this time. Oh, baby. Because look at this. This time... Mm. Mm. This time everything's coming up Amelia. second match. It is very difficult to win uh, this fight in a normal playthrough, so it's very satisfying to just crush it in a new game plus. Semi-finals. Ah, uh, this dude. This is the asshole who got us last time. He stopped us cold. Not today. <laughs> Be gone. Now you got a power cure. Final match. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. We didn't get to see this guy last time. Look at this fun fellow. Ooh. Right in the bits. Humph. Now I know your attacks. Okay. Sure. Yay! Well done. There's Joker up there. That was Joker. Okay. Very satisfying. I saw Joker. Let's go get him. Indeed. And now Rufus is in the party. Fayon is not here because he can't be for this fight. But this gives us the opportunity to go ahead and take care of Rufus. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. And let's see, what did he have? I think you had the emeth tag. And... Probably need a wing amulet, even if that's not what you had on last time, because mobility was your weak point. Okay, then we had... of these 
And there we go, our shield. Ta-da! Now. There we go, that's the only thing we need to change. Rufus doesn't... He's not cool enough to stand next to Amelia. Here's the actual, like, king and queen. Where is Joker? Who invited that guy? <laughs> they don't even know. Uh, is there... Oh, there he is. I don't... Uh, I don't care. Ah, ah. Okay, fine. This will only take a sec. Oh, I didn't do his arts. Drat. I did his equipment and not his arts. I knew I was forgetting something. That's alright. Got in a hurry. That's what happens when you rush. Heal for sure. Gale Blast. Energy Chain. Psycho Armor. Mind Heal. Spellbind. Flash Fire, I think. I might have had Flash Fire. Flood as well, but let's go with Implosion this time, actually. Okay. There we go. Yes. There we go. I was like, where's the damn switch? It's clicking on everything. Up here. Y'all are gonna regret this. Running into a million companies. Not, not great. And here we go. You know this is a restricted area. Did you see a masked man? Yeah, I saw him. Where'd he go? I'm not telling you. In fact, he told me to get rid of you. That's every time it's funny. Every time. I'm not gonna tell you. He told me to get rid of you. Okay, well, good luck with that. Wow, you survived a whole round. Didn't do any damage, though. Goodbye. There we go. Second part's done. Or the third part, depending on how you're counting. Slime friend back over here. 
Let's go downstairs. Talk to the man in charge. And are we... Yes. Okay, we're full up. I thought so. Usually at the end of a chapter, they automatically heal you, but... Get your act together. Pull yourself together! Skeletal creature. This thing is so much... Like, it looks so much cooler than it has any right to be. And we are about to just wreck its day. There we go. I wasn't sure who would go first, but I knew we would kill it in one round. Poor fella's only got 10,000 hit points. There we go. There we go. Casino. This is where we go to Baccarat. Right, here we go. So this is where uh, the story forks. I think we actually, there we go. We don't really have to talk to everybody. We just have to follow Joker. on the elevator. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Oop, if I can get on the ladder. Oh, leave me alone. Haha! -ha, I can't believe I dodged that. Uh... Alright, now, those of you who saw the original playthrough, right, who've been here the whole time, um, you may remember this place, and there's like a boss at the end of it. So your clue is, uh, remember how Rufus says right before you go through here, and I, I did speed through it pretty quickly, but... In case you didn't see, uh, Rufus says, Amelia, like, don't, don't try to be a hero. We're just here for information. That is your clue. Sort of. Insofar as there is a clue, I suppose, that tells you what to do. And I will, it'll make more sense when we get there. This way? I think that this is correct. Yeah, yeah, I think this is right. Wait. Here we go. Yes. We gotta go up here to the cave. Here we go, the treasure cave. This right here is where the, the story splits. So, Joker says give you my gold for the credits you earn from the casino, right? My special exchange rate is double the norm. All right, see, and she says, you know, before I kill you, tell me why you killed Ren. And he's like, oh, I wonder. And then all the little gnomes jump at us and he gets away. All right, so now that that has happened, right, we have a choice. And that choice is, we can pursue Joker, or we can just leave and report what was going on. So last time, we followed him and we fought the boss. That is actually what triggers the bad ending. 
uh, because in case you missed that part, you can go back and watch it on YouTube, of course. Um, and I'm going to do a safety save uh, right here. So that way we'll see Gnome Cave. Okay, so now we just need to leave. We just need to leave. It's that simple. We're just going to go. He's escaped again. Drat. But what did he really mean by that? Now see, this is dialogue we did not get last time. What did he really mean by that? So, what triggers the bad ending is if you fight the boss, and you remember you go into that room, and Joker says, uh, like, haha, you fell for it, monster bait. Like, you idiot, you buffoon. Fight this boss. And then when you do fight the boss, it drops this. Now, this is a common item, and Liza and Annie even comment on that, that, like, it's not unique. Uh, this is something you can get more than one of, and in fact, we have more than one of it. See, we've, we've got another one. Uh, but Amelia says it was a, she still loves it because it was a gift that Ren gave her, and she thinks that the one that the boss dropped is the one that Ren gave her specifically, not just any old purple eye necklace, right? Okay, so. So if you pick up that purple eye from the boss, that is how you get the bad ending, which is technically what we got. So by not fighting that boss and not picking up the purple heart, or the purple eye, um, that is how you get the good ending. Alright. Uh, I guess we will actually need to kill these things first. This will do it, though. This might take all three of them out, actually. Maybe not. But, uh, so yeah, I, th I thought about playing Legends of Amberland because it is heavily inspired by old Might and Magic games, like, you know, Clouds of Zine type stuff. And that really speaks to me. And I had it on my wish list for a long time watching it, and then when it finally became available, uh, you know, I bought it immediately. And then I have not cracked it open. Uh, because I thought, well, I might want to play it on the channel. Because it is definitely a retro-styled game, even if it is a new game. And with that in mind, I was considering, like, well, is now the time? Maybe when I pick another Monday stream, that's what I'll do. I'll play Legends of Amberland. And then I thought, well, it is a party-based, first-person, open-world exploration RPG, and that is very much the theme and flavor of the Saturday streams we have decided. And so the only qualification it does not meet to be a Saturday series is the age. Um, and y'all know that when Call of Saragnar comes out, I'm dropping everything to play Call of Saragnar. So, with that in mind, I thought, well, you know... Uh, if I'm already going to play Call of Saragnar, and that's probably going to be a Saturday stream because of what it is, uh, then I'm already flexing the, the quote-unquote rules to fit it in there because uh, Call of Saragnar will be brand new when we play it. So if I'm going to say Call of Saragnar is a Saturday series, uh, because it meets all the qualifications except for the age, then I think that that throws Legends of Amberland um, into that same category. So I'm probably not going to play it on Mondays. I am going to save it for a Saturday series at a future date. Alright, Trinity Base, here we go. Right. Let's do this. I'm just gonna skip over the part here where Rufus, appropriate to his name, I guess, Rufy's Emilia. Rather than try and talk her into it, you know.
That's all right. There we go. What do you mean, on the go? We have four series running right now, if that's what you mean, including this one. And I was kind of waffling between a couple to come after this one. Yeah, yeah, we got four series. Because there's Paper Mario, uh, there's Wasteland, there's Star Tropics, and then there's Saga Frontier. So that means that it will be the other Monday series in between Paper Mario episodes is what we're uh, what we're talking about now. We can continue with uh, with Saga Frontier and pick another character like Acellus or Fuse or Red or someone, um, or we can take a break and uh, play something else. Okay, here we go. Grab a Celis on the way. Man, remember when this monster gave us a real run for our money? Actually, you know what? I probably could just do this. I mean, I could, uh, I could go either way. Because there are seven other characters, so... That means that if we keep going until we do all of them, like, that's a lot of Saga Frontier, which is why I wanted to suggest that and see how y'all felt uh, before I just made an assumption. Let's see, I think we need to go up this way. Yeah, basically. It really is like that. It's eight games in one. But there's a lot of overlapping characters and a lot of, uh, you know, you're retreading old ground. That was kind of what I was worried about, was I, I wasn't sure how y'all might feel about it, uh, because we're going to be seeing a lot of the same terrain and territory over and over again. If we just do the whole thing. Because we're going to keep going back to the same town and, and stuff like that. Uh, now, of course, we might see different characters in different dungeons in the various playthroughs. And each one certainly has a different storyline. But it's going to be a lot of the same type of action and going to a lot of the same places in the world to do stuff, just with different characters. And that's fine if that's what everybody wants to see. I just wanted to make sure that's what it was, you know, before I made an assumption or before I made a decision. Because I might still decide to play something else, maybe. But if y'all are really into Saga Frontier, then, you know, we can keep going with that, and I certainly don't mind, because I do love it. And I want to play all the way through it at some point, uh, you know, for my own enjoyment, regardless. Because I definitely want to play through Fuse's storyline in the Remastered Edition because that's the new content. She ate that slime. Oops. Dang it. These controls can be so finicky sometimes. It's like that left stick movement is slick. It is slicker than oil. Yeah, Legend of Dragoon, man, now there, there is a game that deserves a remaster. I think we have well established that. And I, I would give a lot for an HD remaster or a full-on remake of Legend of Dragoon. That's what I really want. I want a remake, not a remaster. Hello, yes. Zosma is not jumping out. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I'll 
we don't actually strictly need him, I don't think. Uh... Yeah, that kind of seems to be the case, which is a shame because it's such a good game. Uh, but you know, much like Betrayal and Antara, though, I have been surprised to discover like just how many Legend of Dragoon fans there are out there. I remember it got trending on Twitter uh, not that long ago. It was back before the, uh, the Chrono Cross remake came out. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's so strange because it's such a good game, um, and, like, if you are a fan and you played it back when it was new or new-ish, then it becomes, like, it's foundational to you and to your gaming experience, and you love it so much that it, it feels weird when other people don't know about it and don't know what the game is or have never played it, and you start talking about Legend of Dragoon and they're like, what? And I think that's true of any game, but especially when it's, uh, like a cult classic or a semi-obscure game. Then it's like, um, you're less likely to find fans, and it feels weird to find out or to be told that the game that you love so much is actually, like... No, nobody played that but you. It's like, huh? What do you mean? What do you mean that this didn't sell, like, 50 million copies? Like, obviously this game is famous because it's so good. And it's like, nah. You and ten other people know what this game is. God, bruh, let me through. Finish it. There we go. There have uh, certainly been a few games like that for me. Where I played it and loved it and uh, then just couldn't believe that other people didn't know about it. Uh, let's see, that's not it, is it? Yeah, that too because, of course, you think about the age of the game, and, and it makes sense. Yeah, because, see, that's that's like me. When I first played it, you know, I was in, I don't know, like the 6th or 7th grade or something like that. And it was just so cool because it was pushing the PlayStation to its limits, and the PlayStation was already, like, a really cool, hard-working machine. Oh. Look at Acellus. She's out here. And then it's just because um, because of the age, there's this big gap where the fandom has trouble going be or growing because it's an old game. So like, how do you how do you share it with new people? I am lost in here. Dang it! And thankfully, I think that like speed running communities and, and that sort of thing uh, help with that and the modding community. So, oh man, Final Fantasy VIII, there's another one. That is not my favorite Final Fantasy, but it is certainly a good one. I tell you what, uh, Final Fantasy VIII can be a wild game. There was, oh, who was it? There's another Twitch streamer who's really great, and it's someone on my like automatic hosting list, someone on my recommended list. Uh, it might have been Slyo9? I think it was Slyo9. It could have 
been tied Tuesday or an eternal enigma maybe but I think it was slow nine um, played a game of, of uh, Final Fantasy 8 did a, a long play and played it using only like triple triad basically to, to level up and gain powers and everything like beat the game with triple triad and and nothing else there we go is this let me oh my goodness gracious it's not letting me oh my goodness Oh no, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? This is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Now, the N64 unfortunately kind of missed me, uh, and that's one of the reasons I've been enjoying like Paper Mario so much, is because uh, Specific Pixel has been taking the opportunity to introduce me to a lot of the games that passed me by. Oh, dang it, this is the damn Mimic. And Perfect Dark was one of those where I remember it being a phenomenon, and it was all that anybody could talk about for quite some time. Um, but I never played it, because I just didn't have an N64. Until way later. Like, my N64... I got an N64 when... And specific pixel brought one into our relationship because it's his <laughs> okay we're getting to the point now where like I'm definitely gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut this down because this is is it here? Is that that door in the corner? Dang it. I'm absolutely going to have to cut this down for time. I didn't want to, but... Because we were blazing through it so quickly. And we still are, but like me getting lost like this is... I knew would be... The thing that drags it out. Oh my goodness gracious. Am I just in the wrong place altogether? I think I am. Do I need to go over here? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> it was like one door away the entire time. Fuck me. Uh. Lol. For some reason. This sometimes seems to trigger him to move it forward. There we go. I gotta remember that. Because that might mean I've wasted a lot of time going after the runes. And I could have just done target practice and then we would already be done with this. Oh, damn. This is why I thought I was in the right spot a second ago. Because this is where you come in for the second visit to Trinity Base. Right. Okay, well. That's fine. This won't take long because all we have to do is go up there to his office. So... Assuming that I can remember the way. Should just be right over here. Bruh! Oh, he's not gonna move, right? That's He's a guard. He's a door guard. I have to actually move him manually. <laughs> it's not an automatic guarding system. Excuse you. You know what? Here. There. There we 
go. Joker's gone, etc., etc. There we go. An old chapel in the Yorkland Mountains. Here we go. Okay, I, th I think we're good. We're going to come in well under three hours, so I probably will not cut it. I don't know. I might still. Who knows? We'll see. I love how it's like, get out of here quick. But wait, before you go, let me tell you this story and also give you this thing that I have to explain. So here's a bunch of exposition. Goodbye. Famous Angel of Yorkland Legend. Which kind of presumably has a link sort of to the uh, to the final boss. Okay, now we just have to is it this way? I, no. No, it's back over here. Alright, now we just have to do Yorkland real quick. Here we go. Back at the end already. I think that went pretty well, even though I did get lost a little bit running around in some of the dungeons. Uh, and like I said, I think I, I may have wasted more time than I needed to because I may have been able to trigger Rufus to, um, to let us move the story forward by doing target practice and didn't actually have to go do side quests, but either way, uh, I think that went pretty well, and I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with the speed. So here we go, the famous Angel of Yorkland Legend. Okay. do this this time. We are going to go so hard. I'm not even going to buff. The soul rune. Here we go. This actually costs a life point, uh, but for like three or four turns, it gives you a massive bonus to all stats. Go, oh, nice. Oh, good. Good, we get a combo. Love that bonus damage. Nice. Pretty good. And a dodge this time? Yes, good. Excellent. Okay, here we go. See, set your spirit ablaze, increasing all attributes. Indeed. We do our double bounding shots. Look at that! It's almost 5,400 damage. Excellent. It's going very well so far. I love DSC. It's such a funny, over-the-top animation. A 
retribution. Oh god. This attack. We didn't get to see this last time. That's the big hit. Here we go, second form. Second verse, same as the first. Bam. Such a good combo. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. We got it. All right, so here we go. The other ending to Amelia's story. I'm eager to see this and see how it might be different in the remastered version. Are you all okay? Here he comes. Joker. Stay back or I'll let you have it. Oh, are you going to shoot me now? Really? Would you really shoot your fiancé? What do you mean? And then see, look, that's a different color of dialogue. Someone else is speaking through Joker's body. Amelia, shoot him. Aim for his mask. That voice. Ren, is it really you? Now, tell me where I can find Cube, and I'll take that angel brooch, too. I don't know where Cube is, and I'm not giving him my brooch. I promise to take care of it. Fine. You're dead anyway. No. Don't you touch my Amelia. No. You dare disobey me? Amelia, hurry. Shoot this mask. Ren. 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 Ah! Ren! Okay, that is a little bit different. I think they, they tightened up the dialogue slightly. But you see what I mean about being confusing? Like, why does he want the angel brooch? It has something to do with Cube, presumably, I guess? Maybe? And there we go. That's the good ending. If you don't pick up the purple eye, then uh, apparently, and it's not clear why, it's never explained, Joker is Ren, and by shooting the mask, you save him, and so then you, you know, she actually is able to marry him at the end. I don't know how or why, because you clearly see Ren's body, and other people saw Ren's body, that's why they put Amelia in prison. Uh, so, I don't know if the body was like a magically created fake? Are they a clone? Um, like, the, the mask is obviously key somehow. So, the mask that Joker is wearing seems to be, like, possessing Ren somehow and making him do these things. So, like, while he has the mask on, that's what makes him Joker. And you can see he's got the green hair, right? Um, and we know that item possession is a thing because there are item monsters in the game, like the Living Rifle, which we saw one of those in one of the mini-boss fights in Trinity Base there, uh, that can possess a character. And that is even how you get certain... Uh, rare attacks or item drops. So... I don't know. Draw your own conclusions. It is not adequately explained, unfortunately. Like I said, people thought Ren was dead, Amelia thought he was dead, the cops thought he was dead, everybody thought he was dead, but apparently Joker was Ren and he was evil because of the mask. But where did the mask come from? How did he get it on? Why did he become Joker? What is Cube? What happened to it? Why does the angel brooch matter? Why is it a plot point, like a, a third act plot point? And then that's not explained either. Who knows? So now you kind of understand why I actually like the quote unquote bad ending better, maybe? Uh, but yeah, at least, yeah, in the good ending, there is that. She saves Ren. She does get her happy ending. 
So instead of getting vengeance, uh, she gets to marry her fiance and she stays friends uh, with Gradius. So I suppose in that way, um, you know, those are all good things. So there you go. Both endings to Amelia's story. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to let me know. Either, you know, message me on Patreon if you are one of our Patreon patrons. Or, uh, you know, leave your comments uh, on YouTube if you are watching on YouTube after I upload this to the playlist. Thank you for your likes and your subs. Uh, tell me if you want to see more Saga Frontier right away if you would like to pick one of these other fine protagonists and continue the game immediately or if you would like to take a break from saga frontier and play something else uh, like i said you know I, I didn't want to throw suggestions out there until you had a chance to think about it for yourself uh but i've been considering maybe divine divinity perhaps because that's a game that i played the demo of it but never actually played the full game and, and didn't finish it and the divinity franchise of course has exploded to become you know like a big thing um so maybe the original divine divinity or i was also tossing over the possibility of harbinger um that's a game kind of like legend of dragoon that um oops that uh i think needs more love uh, it is a game that not a lot of people nowadays know about, and I don't know how many copies it sold or how famous it was actually at the time that it was new. Uh, it sadly did not get a sequel, which is a shame because they built a really interesting world. So those are the two that I'm tossing over if we don't do more Saga Frontiers, probably either Divine Divinity or Harbinger. So let me know your thoughts if you have a suggestion of your own, or if you like one of those two suggestions... Uh, three counting saga frontier then tell me let me know shoot me a message leave me a comment always love to hear from you and i will be back on thursday with the continuing adventures of our friend mike the ace pitcher in star tropics which is also our first patron request here on the channel and uh, then after that i will return on saturday with more action from our Desert Rangers as they continue trying to bring order and justice to the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Then next Monday, since we played Saga Frontier tonight, will be more of my N64 adventures and my first playthrough of Paper Mario uh, with my wonderful husband, Specific Pixel, who is in the chat tonight. So come back for all of those, and then we'll figure out between now and then, on uh, November the 21st, what we're going to be doing. And will it be more Saga Frontier? Will it be another game? I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't think for the Monday streams that I'm going to do like I usually do. I thought about this. I don't think I'm going to take a week off. Um, because... There's already a week between episodes, or two weeks between episodes anyway, since we are alternating series. So I might take the 21st off and then come back with another series. But see, if I did that because the 28th would be a Paper Mario stream, that means that I wouldn't even begin the new series until December the 5th. So that's where I'm kind of iffy, so I don't know if I'll take a week off or not. I might, I might not. We'll see about that too. Uh, but either way, thank you for sticking it out. Thank you for uh, being here for the privilege of your time and choosing to spend it with me when you could have done anything else. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, comment, all those wonderful things. Remember, subscribing on YouTube and following on Twitch is free. So you can always undo it later if you change your mind. And, I mean, you can even subscribe on Twitch for free if you've got Amazon Prime. I mean, make Jeff Bezos' money work for you. He doesn't need it. He doesn't know what to do with it. I will see y'all in the next one. And until then, as always, thanks for playing.